Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the GP paddock here at Stafford and you've brought the sunshine with you so that's something we should be really grateful for. We're here again with some superb bikes to look at and more importantly to hear but we need to hear a bit about the story of the bikes and I'm going to start the proceedings off with this lovely Manx Norton, the Petty Manx which belongs to to Steve here, Steve Ledsom. Steve, it's a lovely looking bike. It's uh, something that looks as if it's uh, been well put together and well used, but well looked after as well. Tell us a wee bit about this bike. It's, it's an interesting bike and I know you've had some good fun on it and some good results. So if you could just let us know a bit about it. Uh, okay, um, I think the best way of describing you know, the Petty Manx, it's, it's, well, it's like the last, sort of roll of the dice for the Manx really. Um, these frames, this particular frame, it's obviously not an auto frame, it's, it was designed by Ray Petty. It's, uh, it's a little bit shorter, the engine's further forward so it's, it's more modern in the fact of where the engine's positioned. But it was like, as I say, there was a, it was the last chance really for Manx Nortons to do anything. Uh, the engine that's in this is a 92 ball, it's uh, ultra short stroke, it's Oh, it's pretty much Formula One inside. It's titanium valves. It's got a titanium conrod, one-piece crank. It's um, uh, magnesium gearbox. So the cylinder head's magnesium with aluminium skull. You know, it's it's there's loads of titanium on it as well. It's, most most of the nuts and bolts are titanium. Even the uh, even the clutch plates are titanium on this one. Wow. The whole thing weighs about 250 pounds. Um, it makes about not not huge horsepower by modern standards. It makes about 59 horsepower at the back wheel which is a significant improvement when a, an original Manx engine was making about 46 horsepower at the crank, not, not, at, not at the back wheel. Uh, and it's a genuine sort of 140 mile an hour British four-stroke single. It absolutely flies. Well, you've had some good results on it, Steve. Uh, not, not massively good. I've, I've done some, uh, some open class racing in, um, in Holland with it and did reasonably well. Um, there's some, some of the VFB stuff, which is like um, regulatory sort of stuff in Germany. But it, it's been okay, you know, it's no. been alright. I could go do a track day, go to Spa or something like that. Very, very little gets passed. And if it does get passed, it's usually a 750 or an 850 or, uh -huh. or, a, or a big stroker or something. Uh -huh. yeah. And top speed of that bike, if you were really pushing it? On Manx gearing, because um, it's a light. It's, it's got to be touching 150 on Manx gearing, yeah. but, but with a different fairing. It'd have to be a, it'd be a slightly bigger fairing, a little bit more sort of cover on the front uh -huh. to get so, behind. So it's got plenty of beans. It's got plenty, yeah. It'll, it'll rev to 8,003. It's out of the talk about 8,001. Uh, an original Manx engine, an 86 bore, you know, as, as delivered in sort of 1962. And top, top on that was 7,200 RPM. Uh -huh. But it, it's just modern technology, you know, Nicosil liners, ceramic matrix pistons. You know, so if you wanted to, to, to race a bike in in, uh, in the classic club, which you did want to do li as little maintenance as possible, you wouldn't go with an original Manx. You'd, uh -huh. you'd go with something like this, which uh -huh. you, you 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 don't have to do a huge amount of maintenance to. Uh -huh. You know, you could run it unless you have a, a, a catastrophic failure. You could run that engine pretty much for a season and strip it at the end. And, and to be honest, with synthetic oils, you're not going to find a huge amount wrong. Uh -huh. you know, just change the bearings. And, that sort of stuff. And of course, you're lucky that you're perfectly comfortable working on the bikes and spannering with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Singles, four strokes, single four strokes, twins, triples, uh, fours, and, and two strokes as well, big two strokes, TZs, and all that sort of stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, everybody around, I think, maybe we want to hear it. Do we want to hear it fired up, this lovely petty Manx? Right, guys, let's go for it and get the Manx fired up. Thank you very much, Steve, for bringing it. Thank you. Let's have a big hand for Steve and then we'll we'll drown you your applause out. Hmm? I don't know, where's Chris? Oh here's Chris coming. Here's the man the man we really need with the, the solo starting mechanism. He's on his way. He's broken into a sprint even. Well done, Chris. He's been having a long lunch break. He's been doing this all morning. So Steve's petty mouse is about to go to the
Let's have a big cheer for the Petty Manx. Thank you, Steve. That was a joy. Nicely done. And Alex there giving it a rev as well. You can't keep him down when it comes to revving motorbikes. He's, he's never stopped.